Chow, what's up everybody? All right, so we're getting back to <clears throat> Vietnam informative content. So this first one we're gonna do has been getting asked a lot as a lot of people are gearing up to move to Vietnam that watch my channel. It's been getting asked in the Discord lobby. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been getting asked um, literally everywhere. But before we get into that video, um, the channel isn't doing particularly fantastic right now as I'm in America, I'm filming America content, and not too many of you guys are too keen on seeing that because you probably already live here. So if you are supporting me on Patreon, I really appreciate it. But if you would like to continuously or just help support the channel more, it'd be awesome if you could go over to Patreon and sign up for as little, dollar, as, little as a dollar a month. Uh, there's all kinds of additional content down there. There's early access release. Uh, there's all kinds of good stuff. There's a podcast up there currently from about a week ago for the Patreons only. So consider consider supporting my channel over on Patreon. If not, no worries. I just appreciate you watching the video. So let's jump into the content. So <clears throat> first things first, let's talk about moving to Vietnam. The first thing you should be doing is selling everything. If you don't use whatever you're trying to bring to Vietnam every day, or at least every two days, you probably don't need it. So I would say you'd be keen and wise to just sell what you're not using um you know you're just going to waste crazy resources to ship it over uh, and stuff like that i mean most things you want to check a bag or carry on you know it's it is not cheap to send stuff to vietnam it's very expensive like a pair of shoes one pair of shoes in one box cost me 25 30 bucks to send so i mean it's not going to be wise to send a bunch of junk that you're not going to use or stuff that you're not going to use to Vietnam. The other big question I get asked is like desktop computers. Like, how do I bring my desktop computer? Do I ship it or do I bring it? I can tell you the best way as a guy that built thousands of computers, and this is what I did for a business for 15 years. Um, what you're going to want to do is, which most people do if they built their own computer, is you probably kept the components boxes for it. So. What I did is I just got a big checked bag. You'll see it, like, if you go and look at that first video that I ever made where I'm on the uh, scooter with uh, Sun from the airport to my uh, first hotel I ever stayed at on that journey of Vietnam, you'll see I'm carrying this huge checked bag. And in that checked bag, <clears throat> I had the motherboard in its original box. I had a power supply in its original box. I had the RAM in its original little slits. I had everything, all the components from a computer, you know, the cooling unit, all the stuff in its own individual boxes, and I just put it in that bag, and it arrived in perfect condition. You don't need a case. You don't need to try to worry about bringing your case. You want to take the computer apart all together, put it in its original boxes, and scrap the case. You can probably get a power supply here, too, so if you don't want to lug the power supply, you can just sell that secondhand or just give it away and rebuy the power supply. Things you are going to want to bring with you, though, are definitely the CPU, the motherboard, the RAM, the SSDs, whether it's SATAs or onboard M2s or M3s or whatever they're at now, one M.23, whatever, um, and the graphics card, because Vietnam's about a year behind on that stuff. I mean, you can sometimes get it, but like, if you're trying to get a 3 whatever, 3 any kind of card, good luck. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, you can get, I think the best cards you can get right now are like 2080s. I think you can get a 2080, but it's going to be more expensive and it's going to be a pain to get. It's not really readily available and easy to get. So I would recommend that you get all your components in America. If you already have an old computer that's probably four years old or three years old, I would consider just selling that unit, taking your hard drives and building a new computer and buying the components and not even building it in America, buy the components, put them in a check bag and bring them on over to Vietnam. There's towers everywhere. You can get a case so cheap. My case was like $12 and it's a pretty nice case. It's, you know, cheap, flimsy tin metal, but uh, it looks good and it's, it's does what it needs to do. You can get fancy cases too, but cases aren't a problem. It's the higher end components such as the graphics card, the CPU, the motherboard and you can get RAM and you can get SATA cards and SSDs and all that stuff in Vietnam, but 
it's going to be more affordable for you to get it in the States and then plan ahead. Like I bought, I think I had two terabytes of SSD storage when I left, but I bought four terabytes of extra storage, just like extra SSDs in the box, Samsung SSD drives through SATA. Um, and that computer's, I think, five years old now, four years old, and it's still a top performing computer for me. So I'm glad that I made that decision. I don't use my desktop at all. We use the Razer laptop for pretty much everything because it, it pretty much just, um, I'm a little lighting issue here. Let me move this, maybe it will get a little bit better. Because it just is, it's a good performer, that Razer laptop. So you're gonna wanna try to get all the electronic stuff that you can and that you think you're gonna need in Vietnam, in America, or wherever you're from, in my opinion. It's cheaper and it's easier to get. Um, some things aren't gonna be more expensive in Vietnam, but they might just be harder to get. <clears throat> so any kind of camera equipment, computer equipment, things like this, I would get here before you go there. And anything you don't use, don't plan to bring it. You know, if you're a single guy and you're coming solo to live in Vietnam, like I only bought one checked bag and my backpack. And that should be the kind of way that you're thinking. You shouldn't like, I'll bring this up because there's quite a few guys that had the same thing. If you've got a guitar collection of 15 and you only use one or two of the guitars, guess what? You only need to bring the one or two guitars and sell the rest. Um, granted, you're not gonna get the greatest to resale value out of stuff potentially right now. What is with the lighting? Let's try over here. Oh, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> Granted, you're not gonna get the greatest resale value out of stuff right now because of the way the economy is and stuff like this. Um, but just bring what you need. So many people ask me, like, how do I move all my stuff from back home? And they're talking like boxes and boxes of stuff. And my first advice and always my advice is, get rid of all that stuff. Like if you don't use something all the time, you don't need it. Um, being a minimalist actually rules. I don't accumulate much things. Everything I bought is, is pretty much what I use still. I've acquired a laptop, <clears throat> a DJ MIDI controller, um, and a few other things, but nothing substantial. You know, I could still pretty much go somewhere else in a backpack and one checked bag if I needed to leave and go somewhere else permanently. I did buy furniture and like a TV and stuff for our apartment because we got our apartment in such a good deal, not furnished, but that's kind of different. You shouldn't be planning to bring a bunch of stuff to Vietnam. Like bring your iPad, bring phones, bring multiple phones if you've got them, bring your desktop. Like I told you just how to do that. You can buy a monitor here too, so don't try to bring your monitor, that's insane. And uh, if you've got an iPad or a tablet, bring your tablet too. and some few clothes that you really like and buy the rest of everything else you need here. I mean, you don't need to bring a bunch of stuff with you. It's easy to get a lot of the stuff in Vietnam. I've kind of just listed what's not that easy to get. <clears throat> and it's still gettable. Like like the GoPro comes out the day it comes out everywhere else in Vietnam. I, I think it's just like 25 bucks more. So, I mean, you're paying a little bit of a tax, but nothing crazy. You don't want to put yourself in a situation of trying to send stuff over through a shipping company. One, it's got to go through all the stuff when it comes through the port and they open everything and they check it all. So like you don't know what's going to make it or not make it. The services are super expensive. I, I almost don't recommend shipping anything to Vietnam if you can get away without doing it. The only thing I've ever had shipped is a pair of shoes um, and my laptop, the, the one I bought new during the pandy. And, and that's really it. Like, you don't need to do much more. Um, people that try to bring a bunch of stuff, you don't need it. And you don't want to rent a storage unit either. So that's why I'm telling you, if you've got months still, just get rid of all that shit. Get rid of it all. Sell it all. Any kind of mementos and stuff, if your mother or grandmother or somebody like that's still alive, send it to them. Like, my mom got a box full of my shit and my sister's got one box full of my shit. And we're talking, like, box like this big which is like birth certificate and shit like this. So <clears throat> don't try to hoard. Don't try to keep a bunch of stuff. Don't try to bring a bunch of stuff. It is way easier for you if you just try to bring exactly what you need and use. And I've detailed on how to bring a computer over a desktop. That's the way you're going to want to do it. Uh, I can't think of really too much more to add to this video. Vietnam's great. You can pretty much get everything there. If you do take Metamucil, 
I would buy Metamucil in America too, like a two year bulk of it. It is difficult to get in Vietnam and it costs like five times the amount. It's a few things that it's weird that you can't get. So be mindful of that. Check prices of stuff that you're looking to get in Vietnam and then that can give you a telling of if you need to bring it with you or not. But the basis of this story is desktops easy to bring, put them all in their original component boxes, put it on a checked bag, hard shell bag, Buy a new case when you get to Vietnam. Buy a new tower when you or a new monitor when you get to Vietnam. They're both affordable and not overpriced in any kind of way. And get rid of all the shit you don't use. People love to hoard and take stuff. That's not what I would recommend doing. It makes your life way more simplistic. So we're gonna do a bunch more Vietnam videos. I've got a bunch of ideas. So we're getting back to the Vietnam com content as I'm still here in Florida. I hope you guys enjoy these. I'm sorry, it's just been Florida content. I know you guys are looking for like that Vietnam content and there's not much I can do. You know, as you know, my mom's sick, so I've got to be here to take care of her. She almost died. So, you know, it's important that I take this little chapter out of this year and, and do what needs to be done here for her. And again, I can, I really appreciate you guys' support. Like I said earlier in the video, if you guys want to join the Patreon to help out a little bit more, that's really helping this month and it's probably going to help the next month as well because my ad revenue is going to be significantly down because the videos just aren't viewed as much of like me mukbanging and walking around in Fort Myers Beach, which is totally understandable. Um, and to everybody that sent me like some kind of one term uh, PayPal donation, you guys are awesome. It really means the world to me. So I appreciate you guys. I'm trying everything I can do to bring you the kind of content that you look at this channel for. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction and I hope you guys appreciate this. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.